Hello, hello. Okay, I'm really going back in time, even though time doesn't exist. <laughs> because I'm going back over your comments and seeing if I can find questions that were asked that I didn't, um, uh, that I could do videos on. Maybe I did a little note, but I could do a video on. And one of them is by Goodbye Girl. Hi, girl. <laughs> and she wrote, So, Naya, when I put it out there, what or who am I talking to or addressing? Well, that depends upon who you're talking to and who you're addressing. <laughs> because you can just throw it out there willy-nilly and wait for a response. And what will happen then is if you who don't know who to address it to, um, and you are truly just throwing it out there, what will happen is the entity being that um, can answer the question the easiest, the fastest, the best, um, will answer first. So if you have to have an answer from a cer certain person, a certain being, then you need to call on that particular being. You need to not just throw it out there. You need to say, this is a question for Gaia. Hey, Gaia, would you answer me? You need to say, um, this is between me and my higher self. Because if you do just throw it out there, then whatever being is the best for the job that will answer that. And you have to be able to hear all beings for that. Which means you have to be open uh, to listen for that tiny little answered voice in the back of your head. You also have to be ready uh, when you just throw it out there and expect that people are going to try to give you the wrong answer. And you have to be able to tell if it's the right answer or the wrong answer. Now, you don't have to know the specifics of the right or the wrong answer, but if it is the right answer, it will feel right. If it's the wrong answer, it will feel very, very wrong. So whether or not it's right or wrong in the big picture, since there are no right and wrong answers, for you at that particular time, that answer that you're getting, if it feels wrong, feels bad to you, it is not what you need to hear for now, okay? So you simply back up and maybe instead of throwing it out to everybody until you can really tell who's who, maybe you should identify who the question is going to. And you can always, always, always ask your higher self. And you can always, always, always ask Gaia. And Gaia and your higher self are going to be um, the ones that you need to learn how to listen to and recognize them first anyway. Um, and if you don't recognize them yet, you should be calling on, pick one, pick one or the other, and just ask them to answer you until you recognize their answering. So you recognize their voice, so to speak, even though they don't really have a voice. But until you recognize their vibration when they're communicating with you, okay? And then you can add another and another and another. But truly, if you just throw it out there, and it, just throw it out there to whatever, then that's exactly what happens. Okay? All right. Well, hopefully that answers that questions, uh, question. Uh, huge hugs, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye now.